And good evening, everyone. For a sixth straight year, NASCAR Sprint Cup Series was racing in Kentucky. A newly paved track was the main storyline going into this year's Quaker State 400. But what effect would it have on the driving? We go racing in Sparta, and the drivers would find the track challenging from the get-go. Lap 32, Jimmy Johnson gets loose and gets into the wall coming around the turn. He would head to the garage. Another caution then coming out on lap 93 on the back stretch. Brian Scott gets sideways on turn two. He makes contact with Chris Busher. AJ Allmendinger also involved. Damage there to the front of Busher's car. Lap 172, Allmendinger involved in another wreck coming back onto the track. And this time he is not a happy camper. Seven laps to go. Matt Kenseth passes Brad Keselowski for the lead, but Kenseth would have to stop for fuel. Keselowski also running low on fuel, elects to stay on the track, gambling on the fuel tank. And on the final lap, Keselowski able to hold off Carl Edwards and take the checkered flag at Kentucky Speedway. His third win in six cup races at Sparta. He didn't even have enough to burn out. He had to be hauled back to the garage. There. We went out and we set a really fast pace there on that restart and we're just, you know, using fuel, using fuel. And it became obvious that you're going to have to save fuel at the end. But I've already used so much, uh, so get the Miller Lite forward in victory lane for number four this year. Gosh, that's great. Uh, you know, usually these repaves are kind of my Achilles heel, but uh, to, to get a win here at Kentucky, I, I know it's been a good track for us in the past, but this ain't the same Kentucky, I can tell you that.